It has been a year since things like traditional weddings were last held legally, with couples only allowed to take their vows during civil and church ceremonies as the government fights to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. The latest cabinet decision to once again allow such gatherings under strict guidelines has therefore been welcomed. We were not working, no decorations were being done, with no reception functions, yet some people were making a living from such events. We are therefore grateful to God and the government for this latest decision, and we are very happy. We are happy about the 30% capacity limit they have given us because next time they might raise it to 50 and then to 70%. Eventually, after the pandemic has been defeated, they will allow 100% again. We are therefore very happy. Couples were worried and so were we, the wedding planners. We thank God, our government and President Paul Kagame, especially for the role he played in fighting COVID-19. May God bless him exceedingly. Paul Kagame, Imani Mumujisha, Mwinshi, Nuru Hari Yajize Mukurguanya Covid. Trashimira Governor Mayachu. We thank our government, led by His Excellency Paul Kagame, for allowing us to once again work. It had been more than a year and many things had been disrupted. So we are very happy that we have now been allowed to once again operate. Those soon to have weddings are also delighted. My wedding is on Saturday and last night we did not sleep, waiting for those cabinet resolutions to be announced. We slept in this morning because we slept so late waiting for those resolutions. It was sad when couples were holding wedding ceremonies without those traditional events and sometimes people did not even know that they had gotten married. We also commend our government for dealing with this pandemic in the right way because you have heard how in countries where measures were not implemented, people have died in their scores. It's scary. Those with big businesses in the hospitality industry are also feeling the pinch of having their establishments closed. Every weekend we were organizing three events on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That means we were losing 12 events every month. Yet we were still obligated to pay the bank for its loan, do maintenance in the garden and pay workers. We have been incurring serious losses, but we have never been discouraged and now that we are allowed to host at 30% capacity, we expect to start closing that deficit. The country's gaming sector has also once again been allowed to operate. We have been paying rent at different locations for the past 15 months without operating, as well as other expenses. First though, we should say that we are happy about the government's latest decision and we are ready because we have had enough time to prepare to reopen. We are also ready to cooperate with all concerned authorities to ensure that both our staff and customers remain protected from the virus. On average, there are currently no more than 50 new COVID-19 infections countrywide per day, compared to 200 just four months ago. And health officials have warned that if the general public once again becomes complacent in implementing preventive measures, then new measures will be introduced. As long as 60% of the population is not vaccinated, preventive measures must remain in place and people should respect them. Relaxing some of those measures is a risk the country is taking with the understanding that people will continue being careful and the risk will be minimized. There is no secret as to how a person can protect themselves except respecting the preventive measures. This is so that sectors that have been suffering can be revived while helping the government in its efforts to fight the pandemic by respecting the COVID-19 measures in place. Any cultural wedding events and receptions taking place at hotels and other venues meant for such gatherings must not exceed 30% of their usual seating capacity. And all guests must have tested negative for COVID-19. Local leaders must be informed of ceremonies to be held in homes five days before they occur.